John, great to see you again. Thank you. Good morning. Good to see you too, Pat. You know, the last time you were on uh, Investor Coffee, you were talking about Bunzel Canada and the deal that you had made, and you were really excited. Where do you see the opportunity expanding, at least within uh, Canada and I guess Australia and the UK with Bunzel? So um, on the Canadian market, we're seeing really good adoption and expansion. And, you know, for Bunzel, I think, uh, the approach that they took was let's prove it up in our own backyard uh, in Canada. And, you know, we've been successful in doing that. And uh, based on that success, the interest, um, you know, from Bunzel Global, if you like, you know, the Europeans and, and Asian uh, markets have uh, uh, really expressed a lot of interest in moving forward with implementation of the technology in those markets. So it's worked out very well. It's a very strong relationship. Um, you know, we work very closely together, um, you know, certainly in Canada and uh, um, we're, we're starting to uh, get a lot of interest from, um, you know, the rest of the company and those, those key international markets, uh, which is great to see, you know, and, and, and like I uh, say, it's been proven in Canada, we had a, a, an endorsement, a public endorsement from Queen's University on how our technology has improved. Um, you know, the cleanliness and the maintenance of, you know, really one of the oldest universities in Canada, in fact. So, so the mere fact that they came out and endorsed it, I think, says a lot about uh, Vision State's technology. You know, and that this is a, uh, a, you know, an institution that Bunzel's been working with. So, um, you know, they're providing that foot in the door for us to, uh, you know, leverage our technology to address pain points in the, in the facility management space. So that's why it works so well. They have the market, we have the technology and together we're, uh, you know, working on getting it out there as far as we can. I noted at the time, John, that it didn't include the United States. And I think you have a foothold in the United States. I'd like to talk about that future deployment and then uh, innovation. Let's start with the U.S. Uh, Blackstone. They're private equity realtors, aren't they? That is correct. And I believe they're the largest in the world in, in that uh, sector. So, yes. Yeah. OK, so then you get into their. Are you in their head office? How quickly can you explain uh, expand? across the United States, just in Blackstone? Um, actually, very quickly. And, uh, you know, this is one of the things that, you know, quite honestly, we had to work on. Um, you know, the original iteration of Wanda was a tablet outside restrooms where you tracked, you know, 10 to 15 items, you know, whether it was the floor, or the toilet, whatever. You know, now we do... 1500 locations on a you know typical university and it could be anything from a restroom to an office or a hallway or a classroom or or, or whatever so uh, we had to really work on scaling up our software which we achieved and and part of that was deployment so you know in fact we can do a university literally in two days um, and, and be able to track those 1500 different uh items or locations or, or or whatever it is so um yeah the answer to your question is we can expand very quickly we built it for scale and um you know we recognize that uh it's not just restrooms that you have to track it is every part of the facility that that you're dealing with um, so very excited about that and the potential to expand further within the Blackstone portfolio for sure. Okay, John, one of the challenges you had is that you're kind of, if you will, piggybacking on Bunzel as it stands, and that's working perfectly, but that doesn't necessarily work in the United States. How are you attacking the U.S. marketplace differently? 
Uh, very good question. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we'd love to work with Bunzel in that market too. They just are more of a uh, strictly distributor in that market, which is one of the reasons why we left it out of the contract that we signed with Bunzel, uh, you know, a year and a half ago. So um, we're doing a bunch of different things. Um, one is uh, digitalized lead generation. Um, that's proving to work, um, you know, with, with reputable uh, lead generators. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it should be noted that as big as Bunzel is in Canada, you know, a uh, whole Bunzel could fit very well into one market in the U.S., say California. Um, so um, there's a lot more potential uh, distributors to work with there. The other thing we're doing is we're attending the uh, ISSA show in Las Vegas on uh, November 19th to 21st. This is, you know, sort of, I would say, the definitive facility management show. You know, the fact that it's in Vegas probably tells you a lot about, you know, the prominence of this uh, conference. Um, but already we've lined up a bunch of meetings with potential distributors uh, for Wanda in the U.S. And, and we like the distribution model. You know, we've, uh, because we've been working with Bunzel, we've really structured around um, easily deploying to uh, distributors. So, um, and, and, that, and that means we don't have to maintain large sales staffs anyway. We're, we're way more interested in, um, you know, tying into existing uh, customer bases, which is what you have with distributors. And, and that's why Bunzel's worked really well. So, so we're going after those distributors um, and identifying them and meeting them in the U.S. So, so it's very exciting. Uh, you've addressed deployment, obviously, using innovation. Are you using innovation in any other circumstance, you know, artificial intelligence is everywhere, it seems. Is that part of your agenda? It is. And, uh, you know, there's practical applications with um, artificial intelligence, particularly when you're dealing with big data sets. So some of our larger customers, um, they, you know, they maintain thousands and thousands of square feet of, uh, you know, let's just call it real estate. Um, so, you know, things like scheduling, um, ma uh, map routing, um, optimally to maximize uh, the return for the building services contractors is extremely important. And that, that's how we're applying AI. Uh, in fact, we're applying the AI specifically to those areas, uh, particularly scheduling and uh, optimized routing. Uh, you know, for, for example, cleaning staff, um, you know, maybe some people don't know this, but in facility management, it is, you know, fairly um, reliant on, you know, humans, right? Uh, you know, the frontline right. workers. Um, never in the past has there really been um, a way to, um, you know, ensure that that service is being delivered efficiently. Um, but you can do that with analytics and AI, which is which is why we use it extensively. And, you know, personally, I use AI constantly. Half of my day is probably spent on some form of AI anyway, um, and it, and it's making us way more efficient, even even at that level. Uh, I'm but, having a hard time dealing with a calendar, John. So that's, that's <laughs> nice for using AI. Uh, John, yeah. listen, if I'm an investor, uh, are you profitable or when do you see yourself profitable? Um, we're not yet, but we're getting there very uh, quickly. And, and in fact, uh, just, just for the fun of it, I took our nine month, uh, uh, well, actually our, last, our third quarter, which had, um, you know, uh, numbers up to uh, nine months. And I ran that through the whole thing, M the MDNA and everything through AI. And I said, give me your analysis of this company. And uh, it was interesting and it actually aligned with what we were saying. But the fact of the matter is, and the AI confirmed this, that our costs are significantly down. 
a lot of the, those costs related to the public uh, side of things, which, um, you know, there's room to move there. Um, and our revenue has increased 60% over last year, at least at the minimum. Um, so we're well on our way to that. Um, we, we haven't gotten there quite yet, but I think we're like one or two contracts away from actually reaching profitability, uh, which is very, very important to us. John, thanks so much. Yeah, no problem. John Putters, Vision State. Thank you.